Shalom, shalom. Let's give it a second. All right, hey, Shalom. It's your brother Ariel from GMS Tampa Bay 12 and GMS 13 Rulership uh, 4. Back at you again with another in transit through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashimi Abashai. And of course, before I start, I do want to give all praise, honor, and glory to our Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. And if you don't know, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, which the world ignorantly calls God. All right, his true name is Yahweh, which roughly translates to He is or He exists. Or, or, or he to be. All right, we call on Yahweh in the name Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And his name roughly translates to he saves or he delivers. And we call on them in the name of the Holy Spirit, uh, Baha Hashem Harakak Wadash. And double honors unto the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, the men that rule and teach well. And salutation to you brothers out there. Uh, the true servant to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the 144,000 elect. All right. And uh, may Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah continue to be with you and yours. And the same thing with your brothers and your sisters that are just listening and learning. May Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah rock a thumb. And, uh, you know, I say that because, you know, the, the devil, okay, Esau, Edom, all right, our arch nemesis, all right, he, he's the one that's in, in basically in charge of this, of where things go on this earth, all right. The earth is given into his hands And Esau is known as the wicked Okay So this man is the devil He's known as the devil Okay The wicked And you go into the word devil You're going to get You know Slanderer uh, False accuser Deceiver Alright Trickster Depending on where you look Alright So this man uses all types of deception And he's, he just, he's not going to play fair Okay you know, all us brothers, you know, that make these lessons, make these videos and shows and put them on the internet, okay, and we do our best to feed the sheep of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? Esau could just press a button and remove those videos when he wants to, and he's been doing that as of late, all right? Uh, the main channel, uh, GMS Tampa Bay 12, just got hit with a couple of videos. Now, it didn't strike the channel, but, you know, Esau's watching, and, you know, and he's, he's, st he's starting to play dirty, you know, he started to go back into that, you know, bag of tricks that he'd be using, man. Okay, and we we just and we know because it's a little different. The whole vibe is different too, man. Because he, you know, he'll take the video down, but he won't strike the channel, and you know, he's just being funny, man. And all the stuff happening in Israel, not not Israel, Israel, but within this thing of ours, all right, the Israelite community, so to speak, for lack of a better term, all types of funny agent stuff happening happening around. All right, this man is clearly about to make a move on us okay he's gonna make a power move you know he may take the internet away he may start doing some persecution tactics we don't know clearly he's trying to get people you know he's trying to remove the truth off the internet and he's trying to demonize us we knew that this was gonna happen all right and that's one of the blessings what's up man yo what the fuck dog but in any case you know, he's gonna use all these different tactics, these different kind of um, tactics, in order to uh, uh, demonize us, put us in a, a bad light, as whatever he, whatever he can do to do that, man, he's gonna do it, bro. You know, he don't care about, he don't have morals, okay. But what was I saying before that happened? Um, oh yeah, um, you know, that's one of our blessings. You know, us being persecuted for, you know, righteousness' sake. So we know that this day is going to come where they're going to look at us like we are um, the T word. Uh, but you know what? Hey, that's a blessing in the eyes of the Lord. Our job is just to endure it with our, to keep our, um, what do you call it, our, um, our integrity intact. The scriptures say to, try, to, strive for the to, to, to strive for the truth unto death. And, uh, how's it going? The Lord shall fight for thee. I believe that's how it goes in the book of Sirach. All right. To strive for the truth unto death. So even if it costs us our lives, man, we're, we're not going to turn our backs on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Especially uh, Yahweh Shai, because he would actually have to come down here and do what he did for for our sake. For us to not to, uh, uh, you know, take that seriously. Man, that's a shame on our side, man. 
So no, we're going to take it seriously, man. We're going to strive for the truth, even if it costs us our lives, our, our image. You know, you know, brothers, you know, we have a, a good name, a good reputation in the world. You know, I, you know, I try to have a good reputation around people in the world. I don't want no one talking shit about me for something I did or whatever the case is. No, no, we move according to the scriptures like godly men. So when this man starts to do what he wants to do, because eventually he's, he's going to be backed against the wall and he's going to have to do something and he's going to play dirty. So eventually when, it, when that day comes and he's going to do what, he gonna, what he's going to do, all right, you want to get brothers hemmed up for some BS, some AI trick, deep fake, whatever you want to do. You can do whatever you want. You got the technology to do it. And the world's so retarded, they're going to believe it. All right, we're going to just have to keep the faith. We, we know that this day was going to come. They did it too. They did the same thing to the to the to our forefathers. I man, you don't think they're gonna do it to us? We gotta suffer the same way, man. I don't know how it's gonna come. I don't know what brothers are gonna suffer that, but you know the day's gonna come where this man's just gonna he's gonna demonize us, demonize us on a heavy level. All right, but don't fret in that. They won't worry about it, man. Don't you know get all pissed off and and it's scared. You know, don't worry about that. This is made. That's big prophecy. That's a major prophecy. Okay, it's all tied into the end of the world. So we know that, yeah, something like that's going to come where he's going to try to make us look funny. All right. He's trying. He's being sneaky right now. That's why you see elders making these videos about, you know, about agents and things like that. Because he's Esau is going to use agents, man. He's he's probably been using them. OK, I, I believe so. All right. I believe he's been doing that. You look at some of these different Israelite camps outside the Great Millstone, you and you see how they conduct themselves. It makes you wonder, man. Like, is someone paying you to say what you're saying? Like, why would you? Why would you just be wrong on purpose? You know, it doesn't make it doesn't make sense. The only thing that makes sense is if a lot of these people are are um, paid off. So, you know, we don't know what Esau is gonna have, you know, in store for us in the next coming weeks, days, months, whatever the case may be, man. We just know that he's going he's, he's gonna to play dirty. You know, um, the scriptures tell us to be circumspect. You know, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the times because the days are evil. So, we know that that evil is coming down a, down a pipeline. We don't even know how it's going to come. We know it could come in any type of, it could come in every way that we think of. All right, but one one thing is for certain is that we're going to be tested. Our faith and our, our integrity in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is going to be tested. On some level. You know what I mean? And this world is a no integrity. This world don't stand for nothing. These people of this world don't stand for nothing like that. But we, you know, supposedly stand for Yahweh Shah, right? So our faith and our, and our, and our uh, whatchamacallit, uh, our loyalty is all, is all going to be tested in the near future, man. It's something that we have to meditate on. You know, we don't know what the Lord's going to do. The scriptures tell us that our, even our family might come up, come up against us. Some of us, our families, our household, they might become enemies of ours. So somebody you dwell with in your household, whether it be, you know, some sort of family or whatever, roommate. I don't, you know, I don't know what brother's situations are or whatever the case is, but, you know, you maybe you live with family. All right. And your family ain't really what, what you're doing like that, but it has been tolerating it. But when things start to get hot in the kitchen... They're going to be the first ones to turn you in. Thinking they're doing you a favor or something like that. You need help. You need to. You can't. You, they, they, who knows, man? So, you know, uh, we, we, we sit here and we could just think of and speculate on what could happen. But these things, a lot of things, what we're saying is actually written in the scriptures. All right. Would you just put, um, I've seen it for a second. Uh, brothers, salvation of the elect, shalom. Oh, this thing is all fucked up. I don't know. For some reason, it's uh, <laughs> I can't read the comment, brother. Like it's it's like all posted on top of each other. But I saw it for a second. Um, uh, the one where you said uh, it said Marvel not uh, for, uh it put it. Uh, can I see it now? Yeah, I can't read the comments. It's not letting me read it. Salakia, I. <laughs> Is being uh, demonic, but um, in any case, these things are these things are written for us to go through, bros. You know, you know. So yeah, he's gonna start taking the channels down. He's gonna start striking the channels again for no BS reason. Eventually, 
Uh, the script, the script's talking about the famine of the world. That's why the scriptures say, seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Which is alluding to a point where the, the Lord isn't going to be found anymore. The Lord is found through his prophets. All right, in the chief place of concourse, you'll see them prophesying and breaking down the Bible. Warning you what's to come. You need to listen to those men. Okay? Because the time's going to come where you're not going to be able to find the prophets anymore. The, the lessons are going to be taken off the internet. The internet might be turned off. Okay, you're going to need a, a chip to access the internet. You're going to need some sort of ID to access. Who knows what this cracker's going to do, bro? He's going to fake something. Some, everybody's going to get scared. Okay? You know, and then he's going to willy-nilly give up their rights. And they're going to, they're going to whatever, he or whatever, just to be safe. They're going to preach that peace and safety shit. All right? And then you're going to, you know, fall for the okie doke. You're going to go ahead and you're going to get their chip, which is the mark of the beast. You're not supposed to get it. The scriptures tell you in, the, in Revelation the 14th chapter what happens if you get it. All right, you're gonna burn. You're gonna burn to death. You're gonna be destroyed. Okay. So this, he's about to start doing it. He needs to get his new world order off the ground. Okay. And and he's he's he's, he's close. All right. He's got to do a couple of more things. But all this is prophecy, man. You know, we're going to see Jacob's trouble pop off. You can read about Jacob's trouble in a few different places in the scriptures. Okay? Mainly, of course, the book of Jeremiah, the 30th chapter and the 7th verse. You can start around the 5th verse or 4th verse. Of course, start at the top. And read on down to the, you know, to the 7th verse. And then after that, read on a little bit more. All right? It tells you not to worry about it. Okay? The Lord is ultimately going to burst the bonds from our necks. He's going to redeem his elect. Whoever they may be on this earth, he's going to redeem his elect. And we're doing this work because we want to be part of that number. The scriptures say to give diligence to make your call and election sure. So we diligent in preaching Yahweh Shah. We're diligent in prophesying. This is what the Lord requires of us. And by doing these things, you're going to get a seat on the chariot, man, a salvation. But a lot of people are going to start falling for these tricks that are being laid out before us. All these different things. Changing the name of the Lord all of a sudden at the last minute. Elders from the, from the old school popping back up. Prominent teachers of Israel, of Israel okay? Basically, uh, uh, um, siding with the so-called white man, the Edomite, the enemy. Alright, so a lot of things are happening fast, quick. A war just broke out a couple of weeks ago in, in, in Israel, in the Holy Land. An earthquake happened over there same, the same weekend. Killing thousands. All right? That was in Afghanistan, the earthquake. Of course, the war is in Israel. Things are happening, man. What's going to happen next week now? Now, next week, some other shit's going to happen. We got to be prepared and be watching. Scripture tells us to watch. You know, so we have to watch because things are happening quick now. And we have to be able to report on these things, man. It's important. Because then, you know, you don't want this to overtake, to overcome you as a thief. All right? You're unprepared. All right? The wisdom and knowledge is what's going to keep you stable when the shit hits the fan. Not anything else. Not how much canned food you got in the, in the back room or how much ammo and guns you got. None of that's going to matter how many friends you know or whatever. You, you, look, none of that's going to matter in that day. It's what you've gained, you know, from this from this Bible in a time of your liberty when you could have did whatever you wanted to do, okay? But what's really going to truly keep you stable is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding you, you've obtained in the time of your liberty. A lot of people are just going to squander their chance at salvation. Just so they can live it up in this world, you know, the the uh, live in the flesh. You're gonna see, man. You just gave you gave up something extremely, you know, so precious. You just gave it up, man, so you can, you know, live uh, uh, for a moment in this world and sin. Same thing Esau did, man. <laughs> the, the 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 blessing was his. All right, but he ended up, he, he was so hungry, he couldn't wait for the food to be done. And he, 
he, he gave up his birthright, man. We can't be that way, man. You know, so, you know, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. You know, I'm, you know, Lord willing, you know, brothers got something out of it. You know, really, again, man, just understand that Esau, he, you don't play fair, bro. He's going to play by his own rules. We can't get mad when he does what he does. We just have to understand that this is all prophecy and this is this means something. Uh, what we're about to go through is it going to be easy, but it working for us a far more than exceeding eternal way to glory. So, you know, I want to say call Lord Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai. Bashim Rakak Wadash, Shalom.